Hey, you're live on Freedom Friday. What's your name? Where you calling from? Hey, Cam, it's Broken Carpenter from Yakima. My brother, my brother from another mother, Broken Carpenter. What's up, brother? Well, first off, I am so glad that you went to Chicago. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, hey, brother, that, that whole thing was cool. You know, I mean, there's going to be these get-togethers uh, of people, progressives, and there's going to be people there that we don't like or, you know, maybe aren't particularly fond of, and they're going to be intermixed with people we are fond of. And so we're just going to have to, like, listen to what's being said and understand that people are trying to make some contact, especially, you know, you look at all them people in the audience. Those are, are, are like, you know, activist types, they're the type of people that they aren't like in, the, in these gigantic groups or anything. They got their own little group, you know, they're kind of like us trying to make some kind of change from, you know, and we really don't at this point, there's no like central figure or a central movement to get behind because, you know, the resistance is, you know, trademark resistance, insistence, whatever it is. But, uh, you know, uh, but I'm glad you went to Chicago and I'm glad you made, you know, that that all went well, because that was really, really, uh, uh, there was a lot of great moments from there. But anyhow, yeah. <laughs> first off, that that bald headed dude with the mustache and them goofy ass suits with the big buttons making that wasn't no joke about Flint, man. That was him. He, somebody called in, he got mad at him, and that was just a cheap-ass shot is all that was. That wasn't no, you know, that wasn't no, oops, I made a bad joke. That was, that was just somebody that got, you know, caught in a corner, he ain't funny enough or ain't quick enough, and had to say something stupid and mean, you know, and really classy, you know. And, and so, you know, get past him. I want I want to get on to this, this this Wonder Woman thing. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy Lumpy Lucy, you know, uh uh the loser from wherever she's from, you know, Wellesley ain't some island and and she ain't Wonder Woman, man. She's like a lump she's a lump that came out a uh, here's what she is. You know, when you, when you get back into the woods, you get into darker parts of the woods, and, and you start looking where the sun don't shine, fungus starts growing, you know, on the bottoms of trees and crap. You know, it might even kill the trees. But it's, you know, it's it's going to survive no matter what. So she's the fungus among us, you know, and, and <laughs> ain't no wonder woman. Man, <laughs> but hey, the people of Flint, you know, the people of Flint, they're always in our thoughts, you know. But that, that's this, that's sickening. And, and, you know, the governor did that all. He did all of that just to, you know, give tax breaks. What he did was he went through that state and made it into like this, this, uh, right wing dream because what he did was. First, he gave gigantic tax breaks. Then he said the state didn't have any money. And then he went about give, you know, uh, taking over city city governments right. and saying, no, you're going to have a, a, this administrator that I, I appoint. And that's where that shit like Flint came from. It came from that, that penny pension bullshit, you know. Right. Instead of taking the taxes from rich bastards like the Koch brothers, and giving it, you know, and using it to not only not switch from from the river that was perfectly okay to drink to the river that Ford wouldn't even bore engines with because of the corrosiveness. You know, when you start talking about stuff, that ain't even, that's like crimes against humanity, man. That ain't even, that's, that's sickening and wrong, but, you know. People are like that. We gotta, you know, we gotta hold them to account, and and we got to get those people that don't have water right now. We got to get them water. You know that that and charging them. You know, you charge me for, you know, you're gonna. It's like charging you for, you know, they're charging you for oxygen and and pumping in, you know, 
uh, carbon monoxide. It, it's not, you know, it's just, it's, uh, I'm sorry, got off on a, got off on a tangent there, brother, because that just, that did make me angry, but hey, and I am happy, I thought the, uh, I thought that, uh, uh, the, um, oh, shit, oh, Nina <laughs> interview, I love Nina, man, she's, she, she's so cool, Right. she is so cool. But, uh, hey, man, you take it easy. Get on to the next caller. Thanks a lot, Tim. And, uh, hey, we're always on after hours, too. That's right. So, y'all have <laughs> Later, brother. You got it, man. Thank you, Broken Carpenter, for that call, my friend. And he's absolutely right about Flint. He's Oh, he's extra. Look, he's dead on about the Nina Turner interview. My Nina Turner interview was the ish. So you need to go watch that on my YouTube channel, guys. Go watch my Nina Turner uh, interview. It was very relaxed. It was like just having a conversation with an old friend. And I, I, I'm proud to say she watches my stuff, so that's really cool. And she actually knew my videos. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty special. Am I inoculated from BS now because I got Nina Turner in my corner who loves my stuff? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let me see. I'm just going to go to the store tomorrow like, yo, what's up? Tim Black in the house. Nina Turner likes my videos. I don't know if that'll work. Cop pull me over and be like, hey, Nina Turner likes my stuff. I'm Tim Black. Don't shoot. I don't know if that'll work either. 